it is actually Monday, oh, our first day back to school after spring break. Um, but after school today, I finished Pride and Prejudice. I was really nervous about reading it because my mom had started it and said that it just was not for her. Too many words, didn't enjoy it, um, and stopped really early on. So I was nervous going in that it wasn't going to be my thing, but I was so <laughs> pleasantly surprised. Like I love the 2005 movie adaption, as many of us do, um, because it's just so beautiful and done so well. I think because I have such an affection for the film, um, the book was really, really enjoyable because it was, um, you know, the same story, but you're getting so much more um, depth in um, what Lizzie is experiencing and what her inner like turmoil and feelings are. And the same thing with Mr. Darcy. Like, I found Mr. Darcy incredibly lovable in the film version, but in the book even more so. I felt like my heart was fluttering. <laughs> there was a quote that was like the most Enneagram 4 <laughs> description of melancholy. <laughs> it was just so perfect. Um, I'm an Enneagram 4, if you don't know. I love to be deep in those feelings and that's kind of why I love reading so much. So, so Pride and Prejudice exceeded my expectations, which is incredible because I had really high expectations, really. It was beautiful. It was perfect. Um, so I understand why this is a classic, why it is a masterpiece. If you have not actually read Pride and Prejudice, you should really give it a try because it, it is so beautiful. I am getting near the end of Sweet Bean Paste, which I am reading right now because my brother's in Japan. So I wanted to feel a little bit closer to him, so I've been reading some translated Japanese work. Uh, the story in that has been incredible so far. Uh, yesterday when we were having Easter dinner with my parents, I kept going on and on and I couldn't stop talking about like every little thing about the book that has like stuck in my memory. Very much looking forward to seeing where that goes. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. <clears throat> I'm talking really quietly because the boys are still sleeping. But this is an early morning for me because we have a staff meeting. I have to be kind of like an hour ahead than what I normally would be. I am just getting ready for the day. It's like, well, now it's like six. I um, got up at five and was just doing a little bit more editing for the video that I'm about to post, my um, spring break vlog. I was like trying to figure out if I should like actually finish the vlog if like <laughs> the week is done, but I haven't finished one of the books yet, but I, I am. I'm just gonna like wrap it up and then this vlog I'll be talking about once I finish sweet bean paste because I am currently reading that still. I I think I'm like, I think Goodreads says that I'm like 71% of the way through and it's just been a really lovely reading experience. Toku and Santaro are just, it's just really beautiful to see the relationship blossom between them as kindred spirits. Um, both feeling like outcasts in different ways. I've just really, really been enjoying it. And um, I am hopefully gonna get like, maybe like 30 minutes of painting in this morning before um, the baby wakes up. 
because when it's days like this that are really early, um, I try to wait until the very last minute to get him up so that I can just bring him straight to my mom's house and then she just puts him back to bed and he's not like awake awake. So uh, hopefully that works out. <laughs> and I did some doodles last night, but um, Heavy Fox was just having a rough night. So it just kind of like threw off our plans for the evening and I didn't get to like actually paint them. Um, so I've got a whole page full of doodles that I can paint. <laughs> on here really quick because I realized that I didn't really film anything else for this vlog. <laughs> um, so I thought I would just do a quick reading wrap up as far as the books that I read throughout <laughs> this week that I barely filmed. I think like maybe actually the only book that I read during this week was Sweet Bean Paste. Because like as I'm thinking back, Yeah, mm -hmm. I think it was the only book I read this week. Uh, but that's okay, because the goal is to slow down and enjoy and just be immersed in these stories. And that's what I did with this one. And I thought that this was an absolutely beautiful novel. As far as I can tell, as someone who's new to reading translated fiction, uh, I thought that it was a really successful translation and a really lovely reading experience. I found the characters absolutely endearing. I learned a lot about something that I really didn't know anything about. So um, it was just really, really interesting. The next vlog will be more interesting because I'm making it a goal to film more and to upload throughout the week so I've got a better idea of the story that I am telling throughout the vlog so that I'm actually sharing everything that I mean to share. So, uh, yeah. Uh, thank you for being here. And if you enjoyed this vlog, please like and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye.